2016. Chanko nabe. Chanko nabe is a famous dish in Japan because sumo wrestlers eat it. And it's supposed to make you strong. So today we're gonna make a beautiful bowl of chanko nabe. I love chanko, I've had it before in Japan and in Indonesia. Um, I don't feel much stronger from it. Actually, I feel a lot weaker and it makes me want to take a nap because I end up eating so much of it. So today we're going to be making a pork-based chanko nabe. And first of all, we're going to have to slice our vegetables. Veggies. Scary, huh? So, first of all, we're going to take our tofu, slice it into thin slices so that it's mouth-sized. Afterwards, we're gonna take any mushroom. I prefer shiitake or a normal button mushroom. And we're just gonna decorate it a little bit by slicing the top into a star so we have a nice shape. This is only for appearance. You really don't have to do this. But it makes it look pretty and you know, your eyes eat as well. After that, we're gonna slice bok choy. This can be any cabbage you want. Bok choy is Chinese cabbage and I think it matches perfectly with chanko nabe. Uh, it has this richness to it that really matches well with any protein. So now we're gonna think about the protein aspect. Okay, now that we have all our veggies sliced, it's time to prepare the protein. You can put in chicken thighs, but I'm gonna put in some meatballs because I like the flavor of meatballs, I love the springiness of it. So we're gonna slice some normal, regular cabbage into really, really fine bits. After that, we're gonna add miso. Miso is an optional ingredient, but it's a very delicious ingredient because it's fermented soybean paste. I'm gonna be using a mix of beef and pork mince, but this could be only pork, only beef, could be turkey, it could be chicken, it could be anything you like. So put some red miso with your minced meat and add your cabbage. Really important to any meatball is also a lot of salt. Just two big pinches of salt to make it a meatball as opposed to like, you know, a hamburger. Uh, and then stir it up, form it into golf ball sized balls, maybe a little smaller than golf ball. And we're ready to cook. Time to cook. Okay. So now that you have everything prepared, we're gonna talk about the broth. You can use any broth you like, any broth that you have available. I personally like pork broth because the first chanko I had was made out of pork bone, which was, which was called tonkotsu. First of all, put the pot on the heat and roast your miso. Optional step, but I like the caramelized flavor of the soybean paste. Afterwards, put in your broth. I like to put in the tofu first, so it's kind of like a bed of tofu at the bottom. So when you ladle it out, you have tofu at the bottom and it's really nice and creamy. Afterwards, the veggies, so the bok choy goes in, then the mushrooms. Afterwards, the meatballs go in, and then it's important that we season the broth. I like to season my broth with a little sake and soy sauce. Now, you can use fish sauce, you can use mirin, you can use even Chaoxing rice wine, anything you like. Anything that will make the soup delicious. You're gonna put this on a simmer and simmer the whole thing for like 20 minutes. You don't wanna overcook the meatball. A dry meatball tastes crap. It'll just be delicious. I love chanko nabe and you should definitely try this dish. And if you wanna see me eat this chanko nabe on my famous mukbang show, click on the link over here. It will take you to my mukbang episodes and Please subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel, watch all the other videos. I hope you really have fun on my channel and enjoy. I love this broth. I hope I don't become a sumo wrestler after this. But if I continue this cooking show for another couple of years, I might as well become a sumo wrestler. <laughs>